Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Um, this is one of my test, um, my test clashes of Maser's artwork. Now, as you remember, Maser was one of the graffiti artists from the Ardu collection. So he was the one who spray painted on the Kino. Now, I just tried to replicate one of his uh, collages just to kind of give you a sense of how to play around with different collages, how to test out different things. This is the original way that Maser set it up. It was um, a few different colors, um, such as this red was meant to be orange, but I didn't have orange paper. So you can try out different things. You can test out different things. This red up here was meant to be pink, but I didn't have a pink color either. And I also ran out of red paper. So I just painted it on with a marker. Now, as you can see, all of these parts are interchangeable. You can move them all around. You can test them out with different parts. Um, the only part that I haven't, or that isn't interchangeable is this part here with the red, uh, just cause I used a red marker. Even these lines, you can compress them down. You can move them all down into one or you can move them apart to suit yourself. Um, this is or the reason why I made this was basically, I got a few emails from people just wondering how to go about starting your collage. And I just wanted to kind of create a, a bit of a template or a bit of uh, an example of how to do it. Now, your best way to do it is just to have a bit of fun. It's basically get some cardboard, get some paper, anything that you have that's colorful. Um, I use just the back of a box that I had. Um, it was just for a GoPro thing. Just chopped it out because it was black. Um, some of the green paper came from different cereal boxes. And the red, I actually had some red cardboard lying around. So, and the white was just some cartridge paper that I used from the printer. So you can use whatever you have. You don't have to have um, say actual craft paper you can just use what you have at home now it's always good just to start off with a base template so I just started off with a white page and that's just normal A4 size page and that's just kind of to give me a sense of the size that I'm going to be making uh, so I always start off with a base size so I start off my A4 sheet and then I build upon it okay so I can play around with these characters I can make them so I could start off and have them as two kind of individual people maybe or else I can test out how it might look in a landscape mode kind of like this and interchange it to have the the kind of leaf coming from behind them growing out. It's all about playing around with it and seeing what works, what doesn't work, seeing how the co colors over there and seeing how, they, or how you can use contrasting colors to complement the artwork and how you can actually use um, complementary colors as well. So if I wanted this to maybe pop out at you, I might take away the yellow and put the red and the blue together because that will make it uh, stand out. I could also do a blue background maybe. So if I, I'll just fold that there for a second and say if I wanted half of my picture to be blue and I wanted this person to stand out I could do it like this and then maybe if I wanted it that when it goes onto this side of the canvas onto the uh, white side that it changes color so that the red person changes color as soon as they go onto the next stage of the canvas all I'll have to do is mark out where it is they cross the canvas uh, which is there and there then get my scissors And it is as simple as that. So it's all about just playing around with it, testing out and seeing how the colors will overlay. That'll give you a sense of how you could do a color transition. So maybe it might be that when one color goes from its base color into the other, that all the colors change. You might do this lines, but as they go across the borderline that it changes color as well and you can play around with it just mess around see how you get on um, you could also do it with any characters the reason why I did this leaf here was because I we were discussing about how you could bring in nature into it some people had bridges in their project last week and it would be interesting to see how you could actually form a narrative 
in the artwork using these kind of silhouettes of the different images and just seeing how they'd overlay. Now, the most important part of this whole project is that you have some fun with it, okay? So get creating, see what you can come up with and just test it out and send us in any work that you've done so far just so we can get a sense of how you're finding it, okay? If you're struggling with it and you're finding it quite difficult, just let us know and we might be able to help you out if there's something you're stuck with or if you want to have other examples, okay? Now, I did get back a few very good examples of different artworks uh, completed. Nosoma, I got your um, drawing that you did, which was fantastic. Uh, very interesting ideas. And Sophie, I got your collage. So I'm delighted to see that people are handing in different ideas just so that Miss Omani and myself can actually get a feel for how the class is getting along and see how we're going to overlay them. Now, uh, Miss Omani and myself were discussing it and what we kind of plan on doing is taking some of your images and start to bring them together using Photoshop to see how they'll actually go up on the wall. So send in as many of your clashes as you can and we'll try get this background going so that we can hit the ground running as soon as we come back to school. Okay, hope that helps guys. Best of luck.